what we see when we talk to CSPs is they have extremely large deployments who are looking to virtualize them and create a standard API that can allow them to manage those resources across all their various data centers and deployments. What we see very frequently is they will use OpenStack as that virtualization layer, giving them a very scalable and flexible way to deploy and manage the underlying resources they use to serve their customers' needs. So cloud native is all about loosely coupled microservice oriented architectures. And in that respect, OpenStack needs to play into that very strongly. That means giving the CSPs the ability to monitor every one of those individual components, to move components around as appropriate, to be resilient against any single component failure, and to be really extensible in a very clean way so that if a CSP has a particular requirement, they can make those changes without necessarily having to recompile the entire system from the ground up. So OpenStack was designed as an open source project from day one. And that has been extremely powerful because that means that vendors can come and add the components that are necessary to make their software work properly with OpenStack. Similarly, as open source projects come along that want to extend OpenStack in ways that are useful for their customers, they, see, they can see directly into the underlying code base, understand the architecture, and work very cleanly with them. I have to say that it will. Uh, the largest CSPs in the world are investing in OpenStack and 5G simultaneously. I strongly believe that they will bring the two efforts together in order to best meet the needs of their customers.